So, <clears throat> welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Clint Smith. I'm a product manager here at Life of Geo Systems, a part of a hexagon company. And I want to share with you a few things tonight about what it means to be a product manager and what it means to be behind a brand like, like a Geo Systems and like Hexagon. Let me give you a little bit of information about myself. I didn't start out thinking 30 years ago or 40 years ago, hey, <clears throat> when I grow up, I'm going to be a product manager. I didn't even know what a product manager was when I was in school. It wasn't something that I did. I didn't know. I started out with chemical engineering. And I wanted to do chemical engineering because I thought I wanted to be an environmental engineer. Then I started working someplace else outside of chemical engineering. One thing led to the other. And here I am about 4,000 kilometers away from my home in Cleveland, Ohio, in Switzerland, a product manager for like the Geo Systems. And yeah, it happened so fast. And I was also at like a Microsystems when I started at the very beginning, 15 years ago. So this is all leading up to a point that it doesn't matter what you start out with. You finish up the degree and you go on it and you'll find a path. But I want to share with you some of the paths that I found and something that brings meaning for me. And one of the things I wanted to share with you and the importance is branding. And for me, it means a lot. For me, it means something goes behind this brand. What goes behind the brand? It's a person? No, it's people that go behind the brand. They make the brand what it is. But why do we have so much importance with the brand? What makes it important for us? When I say a name like Leica or Hexagon, things like respect, reliability, trust, dependability come into mind. Innovation, creation, making ideas come to life. And when I think about branding, for me personally, when I buy a brand, I look about the brand, the name of the brand, and I buy it because I want to depend on it. I'll share a little story. When I went camping many, many years ago, I had to buy a tent. I had to buy some equipment to help me get through the wilderness, get through the woods, get through a wet, windy, dark night. And I picked a brand that I trusted because I didn't want to be let down. I didn't want to be out in the cold. I didn't want to be wet. So I went with a brand that I trusted. It happened to be North Face, but it kept me warm and dry. Oh, when I looked for a rucksack to put my gear in, I picked a brand that kept me dry. I had two backpacks to choose from. One of them, the water soaked right in as it started to rain. And the second one, the water beat it off and rolled off. I picked the one that the water beat it off so I could stay dry. But here I am coming to you tonight from a brand like Agio Systems. I'm in the showroom, surrounded by endless products with 200 years experience, 200 years of ideas coming to life, new innovative technologies being created. And all behind it was the passion of people trying to do something right and try, excuse me, trying to make it better. And they did. And it's still going strong. And it's still developing. When I look at the equipment in this room and I see the evolution of this equipment in this room, I think, wow. And I work for this company. I mean, look at this tool. People would stand there and hold it up right when they do their little GPS positioning. They had to make sure the point was on the right spot. And you had to stand there and hold it up right. That got boring, I think. Too much work to keep it straight. So we got something better. And now you don't care if it's angled, if it's tipped, it knows where the tip is. That's just cool. And product management played a role in this along with the team of people 
with ideas, with dreams, pushing the limits, pushing the boundaries, going beyond what was normally done. So I want to show you a little bit as I walk over to the another part of our demonstration room here. What does it do for me? What does it mean to be a product manager? Believe me, when I started out, I didn't know. But I started with projects when I worked at other companies like Leica Microsystems from zero with a product and carried it through. And it was a lot of work. It took a lot of time. It took some research to try to make things happen. Now, when I started here with Leica Geo Systems three months ago, I didn't know much about what this unit was used for. This is a detector. We use it for looking and finding buried utilities in the ground. Why? Why? Because I don't want to hit a utility if I'm working in construction. I want to make sure that it's safe. But what does a product manager have to do? Product manager, I have to get out of the office is what I have to do. And I have to go to the customer. Actually, I get to go to the customer and I get to put on their shoes and I get to walk with them and see what their workflow is. And this is what part of being a product management is about. And it's not just me doing this work. It's a team of people doing this work. We have engineers on the team that with brilliant ideas that help make the mechanics of this come to life. We have electro, electrical engineers doing the same thing that make the electronics inside this device come to life. We have software people that make the interface with the customer and the machine or the device better. Amongst other teams like the marketing teams and service teams and all these people acting with a passion to make the product better. I find that I get passionate about the product, about getting ideas and bringing them to life, about finding out what the workflow of the customer is. And nothing is more rewarding for me than to see that workflow, that workflow get better, improved on, and easier for a customer easier for the end user. Hey, maybe it'll be me. I want to make it easier for me too. But I don't do it alone. And with product management, we each play a role in making the product better, along with our engineering teams and software teams. We get to know the customer. And I don't do it from the office. I have to do it alongside the customer and with our teams with the customer. So when I talk about designing a product and I talk about what goes into it, I know from my experience that if I put the passion that I have for creating things into this product, it turns out much better. I have an impact on that product. And this is something that I try to encourage you to, to look at, is that passion. And I admit I didn't have it when I first got out of college. It took me a little while to find it. But as I did, I knew what worked, what worked for me, where my strength, where my brand, so to speak, I could put it into. It was into the passion and follow that passion and put it into a brand. And this is something that anybody can do. This is something that you can do. Find your passion, put it into a brand and develop it. And I think that makes a big difference in what impact the product manager can have and all the team can have. 
into a product, into a grid. What is a product manager? Collecting all these little details, living out things the customer does, standing behind a brand and making it better. And I know we have questions out there. I'm gonna have some questions read to me and I'll answer as many of them as I can. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how it works for us. First question to go, what does the development process for a new product look like? It's a long, it's a long process and this is a good question. We have a lot of tools that we would call in place to help develop a process from, from, from ground zero, so to speak, all the way up to a full complete project. And we have a rigid process here, at like a micro or geo systems, where we, where we follow this process through and through. And most, most places I've seen the find have this kind of a similar process where an idea will come in, you evaluate the idea, do we want to make this product? What goes behind it? And then you start taking steps into further and further developing this idea of a product into reality. And it might go through a few evaluations where we say, can this work? Will this work? Is it feasible? Is this something that we have a demand for? You call on the customer, you call on the sales teams, the selling partners to see whether or not this product is something we want to continue to develop. And some processes, these, they take, oh, maybe anywhere from 12 months to 24 months, depending on where you're at, depending on what the idea is to develop. But it's a long process. But the good thing is with the tools that we've developed here at Like a Geo Systems, we have a step-by-step -step basically procedure to help guide us through to make sure as we develop a process, as we develop the process or the idea into a product, that we have a process to follow where we won't leave anything out. Question number two, how technical is the role of a product manager? Hmm. Well, you got to have a little technical understanding. It makes it easier to work with the teams. A lot of the role in the product manager is also some marketing experience and being able to know what the market is doing, being able to know what the customer is doing. And when you have a technical background, I mean, my background is in chemical engineering, not electronics or not mechanics. The engineering part helps me communicate better with the teams. It helps me communicate better with the mechanical team or the, the electrical team. But I don't necessarily need to have a strong technical background to, to be able to do this because part of product management is knowing some marketing as well because you need to understand the customer the customer needs, and you can look at the customer workflow. It helps, but it's not 100% necessary to be here. Question number three, could I work on Geosystems equipment as a software engineer? Yeah, we definitely could. We have a strong, a, a strong team here as software engineers. One of the things I found, and this is what's really, really cool for me, so as a product manager, I'm sitting in an office and behind me, we have a project management team who help makes all the nuts and bolts of the system work. And behind them, we have a mechanical team. Behind them, we have the electrical team. All of us on the same floor, all of us in the same region, area. And across from that, we have the software team. And almost any time of the day, if we have a question, if there's something that comes up, I can go to any one of these teams and say, hey, can we check this out or can we do this? So yes, we do have that here. We have good teams of almost any of these backgrounds and software is definitely one of them. And that actually having a note on software is one of the main things that's gonna be the biggest interface between a unit and a customer. Because when we have the software right, we get the software workflow improved and better. Great. Leading us back to a question in regards to product management. How involved is a product manager in innovation? Quite involved. I think we could say 
innovation plays a part of almost everything we do here. And innovation is something, it's not something that can be forced on necessarily a person, but when you create an environment where innovation grows, then you have that involvement at almost every level. And I can say in the three months that I've been here, I've had an opportunity to meet someone from about every team in this place. And every place I go, I see innovation, I see passion, I see commitment, and it grows on you. You can't almost help not to be innovative when you get involved with this company and with the tools that we have. I'm surrounded by innovation and it grows on you. So yes, innovation becomes very much a part of it, along with the passion that you have when you look at these products. Which are the skills of a product manager? Skills of a product manager? Being able to listen, many of them. Being able to look at a workflow and try to maybe find out the best ways to optimize it. Putting on the shoes of a customer and going out there and seeing what the customer is doing. Looking at markets and analyzing maybe where you could be positioned in the market. And you look at other instruments in the market as well. So the marketing skills are also part of a product manager to understand what's going on with other products in the market and where the market's going. So you do a little bit of analysis in that respect when you develop a new product. And you also work with your teams to help develop a product, to help move it forward. And some of the other skills that you have to be able to do is if things don't go completely right with the product, you gotta be able to find ways to fix them and make them better or improve them. What courses should I take to work on Geosystems product, projects? Well, there's a number of courses you can take. I'm not sure what they're all called, but I would definitely say that some of the courses, depending on what your interests are, would be maybe some engineering in a way or software, uh, depending on what you want to do. And I think like the Geosystems also offers many um, opportunities to check and see what's available as students, to get some experience, to get some ideas of where you want to go. And that was probably more beneficial than just taking a course just to go to, to like a geosystem, but looking and seeing what's available as, as intern position to see where you can get the experience. And I found when I did an intern as a student is where I got the most knowledge of which way I wanted to go later on. What is the most exciting product you have worked on? Hmm. Okay, I've already said three months here at Leica, Geosystems, and the question is very easy for me to answer because I go back to a company that I worked at not three months ago, which was like a microsystems. And the best product I did was the DMS 1000, which was the first digital microscope that we did. And that's still my pride and joy, still my, my baby, even though I'm not there anymore. It was a product that we started from ground zero, developed over the years. It was a very good learning process, a good experience, and I am extremely proud of it. And now that I've been here for, for three months, I'm excited as ever to have the opportunity to work at Leica Geosystems, to work with a Hexagon company, because I want to continue and develop more product and more ideas come to life as we go forward. How many engineers in percentage go into product management? Well, I think we have about four or five people on our team. Some of them have an engineering degree. I think I'm one of them. And we have another uh, lady on the team who also has a degree on this. But we have a mixture of product management teams. We have also people that are not just engineers, but maybe also background in marketing that also moved their way over into product managers. So percentile, I would say probably 30 to 40%. And interesting here, do you speak German, Swiss German, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> <Behold me. laughs> 
No. Uh, <laughs> nein. Uh, I, I don't live in um, Switzerland. I live in Austria. Uh, the German I do speak is um, a mixture of about everything you can think of. And people don't even know where I come from when I speak German. Um, are you working on one product at a time or many simultaneously? That's a good question. And usually it's a couple at a time. Uh, a lot of times you find yourself managing some of the product that you've already released while you start a new project. And depending on the what's in the pipeline, as we like to call it, you might have to manage one or two products at the same time or the development of a product at the same time. But it takes a lot of effort to, uh, to start off from ground zero to work something in. So most of the time you have the one and you manage the others. What does your work day look like? My work day is a pretty good full day. It starts early in the morning. I like to be here early in the morning, uh, seven-ish in the morning, because it gives me an opportunity to, to go through my emails, to sort things out uh, for about the first hour of my day. And then I start looking at product development or managing some of the ongoing products that we have uh, in the pipeline so that we can continue to do that. So it, it turns out being a full day, we also have a lot of meetings where we discuss maybe new ideas, new approaches to a problem or new uh, ideas for developing a new product. So we have some exchange here. And one of the things I really found here, like uh, <clears throat> Geo Systems, is I have the opportunity to go from one side to the other side and interact with people from different divisions. And this is something that's becoming more and more part of my daily routine or part of my weekly routine is I get a chance to go to another product uh, group and talk to them about what they're working on. Maybe I can use some of their technology to help me develop some of my own product. And that's exciting. How does Light G Systems Hexagon live and breathe innovation? Oh, this is, this is part of what I just meant, kind of what I just said. We live and breathe innovation because we feed into each other on the ideas. And when I go to these people and I talk to these people, I see excitement. I see excitement in their eyes and that just helps create a place where you want to be innovative and do things and expand. So when I go to these other teams, we share with each other, we share ideas, we share what we're working on in projects. I just had the experience the other day to, to sit back and watch somebody demonstrate our VLK360, which does a point map of a room live. It was fantastic. And you think about what can I combine this with? It, it just grows on you. The innovation grows on you. The ideas grow on you. And you think of how many different ways you can apply this technology into a new product. And it's fascinating. Where does the input for new products come from? It comes from various solutions. It could come from products that we already have to make them better. It could come from our sales partners, our selling teams, our sales reps to say, hey, I've been out there in the field every day. I want to get back to my right up to the last question. And I believe it was innovation that I was talking about how we live and breathe it and we go with each other. It feeds into each other. And the opportunities here at like a Geosystems and Hexagon are phenomenal. It just ties in so well to each other. Okay. I know we have more questions, I'm sure, out there. I really would like to get to them all. I think we're running close to, to the end of the, to the live stream here. But I wanted to share with you a couple of things just before I go. And I really hope this the evening has been worth your time because I wanted to say something to you from the product management side, what it's like to be a product manager. What do I do? What kind of things can I have an influence on? I can look at workflows and try to make them better. I can help make a customer's day go smoother. And that's my goal is to do that. But I also live behind a brand which I wear and I'm proud of that brand. It's a strong brand and it's something I wanna be a part of. It's something I want to contribute to. And I found in my career, even though I started out with chemical engineering, to be now in a product management role where I can contribute to a brand that I've really grown with and really am inspired by, and I want to add more. 
And I encourage you, as you start your careers, as you start out, brand yourself. Brand your name. Stand behind it. When they say your name, they say trust, dependable, reliable. And then take that. Put it into a brand that you can stand behind. Put your passion into that brand. Because you will make an impact. You will have an impact on that brand, and it will change the way you live. Thank you for your time. Again, I wish you a nice evening. Good night.